Hi there, this is Heather of Shutterbug 101. Today I'll be going over how to transfer from your Olympus camera to your cell phone wirelessly with the Olympus app. Let's get started. So you've taken some pictures on your Olympus camera, uh, whether it be of friends and family that want their picture right away, or maybe you want to post on social media, maybe do some editing with your phone because these days the phone editing systems are pretty fantastic. We're gonna go over how to connect your Olympus camera to your app, your Olympus Share app, and how to go and what else we can do with it. So just wanna be sure that when we access the camera here, we go to menu, we go to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, make sure that the wireless is on and we can access the password from here. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna open the app. So when you open up the app for the first time, you're gonna see this easy setup. So what you wanna do is on the screen, there is this little symbol here of a Wi-Fi symbol toward a phone. So once we hit that, it says follow the next steps to connect to a device. The setup is required only once. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will be activated during this setup because naturally it's a new device for me. That's why that is. So we're gonna go ahead and go next. Please install the Olympus Image Share app to your device. Press OK once installation is complete. And it is. So we're going to go next. Okay. Wi Fi starting. Okay. And now it'll allow me to scan the QR code. So once you scan it, we're going to go ahead and go start setup. You can see that we now see a little Bluetooth symbol here. Okay. Yes, we would like it to access all photos join. So you can see that our setup is complete. It does say that we can use the camera without configuring initial settings the next time. So we're going to go use now. Okay, detected Bluetooth. Uh, the Bluetooth mark will turn on at the bottom of the screen after detecting camera Bluetooth. If you want to turn off Bluetooth, you just have to go into your settings. Okay, so first things first, um, we're going to go ahead and go to import photos. This is kind of gonna run you through an introduction of all of these options here. Uh, so here, images shot on the camera can be imported to a smartphone. Okay, let's go ahead and display raw images, please. Because unfortunately, that's all I took. <laughs> right, so let's, let's, uh, let's take the one with the bunny right here. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll say I would like to transfer that. So you can select multiple if you want. So if I want to select more than one, I could select these two with the little blue check mark. Then I'm going to go down here to the corner with the little box with the uh, arrow coming out of it. And we're going to go ahead and import. You can share right from the app as well, but I want to import to my phone, to my photos rather than uh, sharing right from the app. But that's just, you know, my preference there. Right, and then I'll let you know import was complete. And now, if I go ahead and I go back here, my Photos app will have carried over the raw files from the app. Now, naturally, because this is just on a phone, I can't actually see these with the Photos app. However, if I went to, say, my Lightroom app on my phone, I could actually import those and edit them right on the app on my phone, uh, which is really, really neat. Now, if they're JPEGs, you don't have to worry about whether you can see them or not as raw because they'll just come up normally. Um, so you could always do that as well. And it looks like on this screen, they'll actually tell you the uh, capture information on each photo, which is really great. That's gonna be referred to as the metadata of the photo. Then we can go back here. And it's already let us know which ones we've imported, which is neat. Another thing you can do is remote control the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and go start. We're gonna go ahead and do live view, which you can also just do a remote if that is what you'd like, but coming over here. So you can see that wherever I am pointing the camera, you can see that we're getting a live view 
of what it's looking at, which is just the other side of my desk here. You, what you can do on the app is you can look at pictures that you've taken. You can take a picture. So we decided to take that. You can also decide to import it or go back to the camera here. Uh, we have our drive mode. We can change certain settings here like white balance, ISO, your exposure here. So if we decided on to change your exposure, you could go negative numbers. You can decide to go positive numbers to make it brighter or you can stay at zero, which is what the camera recommends in this particular shot. You can also change your uh, shooting modes here. So if you wanted to play in, I don't know, art mode, you know, do different filters, that type of thing. Really hard black and white. I mean, you got some cool ones there. How many pictures you have left, which your focusing mode is on. You can change that all from the screen, which is pretty great. If we go back home, you also have camera how to on here. So uh, kind of like a easy manual on your phone. You can edit photos in the app here. Now, if we go ahead and we do this, edit photo function was moved to Olympus Image Palette app. OI Palette is a free photo editing app that lets you edit your photos using features such as art filter, color creator, highlight and shadow control, and photo story made popular on OM Digital Solutions, OMD, and Pen Series. So it looks like we actually can't edit in this app, but they decided to give you more editing options by moving it to a completely different app called OI Palette. So if there is enough demand to see how that app works, please let me know in the comments below and I will add it to my list. I'm gonna cancel for now. And then we have add geotag. So what this means is that a lot of digital cameras these days, they don't have GPS. And the reason they don't have GPS is because when they were making GPS on cameras, there was a lot of complaint of the battery life not lasting as long as it should. So what they did is they took the GPS out of a lot, and when I mean a lot, I mean most models. And what they did instead is they added a add geotag option through your phone. Now you have to keep in mind if you're on a cruise and you stop somewhere and you take a bunch of pictures at this you know, one spot in a country you've never been in, and you get on the boat later as it ships off to sea and you go, oh, I need to know later on uh, for organization or if I don't look back at them from this specific place, I need to geotag them with the app. Well, keep in mind that when you do that, it's adding the geotag from where you are right here, right now, where you're geotagging. So all of these pictures of rabbits, if I decided to geotag them right now, it's gonna look like I live on a bunny farm and I don't. <laughs> um, so do keep that in mind that when you're adding geotags, it doesn't reach out and get GPS locations that, you know, it, you know, it doesn't take those down. <laughs> Anyhow, other than that, it's a pretty simple looking app with a lot of different features. Uh, it looks like you can also go to product registration, pro gallery, online store for Olympus, instruction manual, product information, global product site, uh, the latest news on Olympus, special offers going directly to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram right from the app, which is actually the first time I've seen that so far. It's also letting you know down here the status of its connection. So right now it is connected to a camera over Wi-Fi. Uh, Bluetooth has been disconnected, however. Looks like we have our question mark here, which offers us a lot of answers to maybe some questions about importing photos, connecting to the camera. Um, so it does look like it's really user friendly, which is pretty great. And then we have our little gear here, which is, looks like is just general settings for remote control, importing, geotagging. Uh, you can tell your friends, answer a questionnaire. So, you know, it's a pretty great app with a lot packed into it and a very simple layout. If you guys have any questions about how to connect your Olympus camera to your app, if you guys are having trouble, um, please let me know. I'd be happy to help any way I can. And until next time, keep your app for inspiration, Shutterbugs. Bye.